Welcome to Talking, Talking Bollocks! Woo! With Rill and Josh. Hello, Shalom. What was that? Uh, that was a little, I just like to... Why'd you go a bit Jewy on me? It's just a little shout out to the Jews in the no audience. One's, no one says Shalom in real life. If you get it, you, well, you at least say Shalom Aleichem. I do it a lot. You know, people call go Shalom on the phone and people... You, you know, do not? Yeah, they, they go Shalom and it's kind of a... An you ironic do some non Jewish people. I do, I do. To so freak then, them out. Then they're like, oh, are you religious? Are you not? You're like, um, no, I'm just a wanker. Yeah. I was talking to, to Humble Howard uh, on the phone last week. And Who's that? Uh, he's, he used to be on The Edge, like the Humble and Fred show. Is this the guy that got in touch with you on Twitter? Uh, no, he didn't Twitter me, but he did email me. Uh, who's the Twitter guy? Okay. Uh, a few people have Twittered me. We're digressing. Do you but, know uh, this already? But yeah, I was saying shalom to Humble, and he was saying, hey, we should roast a pig. And then, uh, why? He's, well, I think he was being sort of jokey. I think that's offensive. It, yeah, and I was like, I said that's not kosher. He's like, oh, are you kosher? He was all then did worried. you get scared that he'd like um, press a few Jew buttons and uh, yeah, you were going to touch him? I had to tell him I was just kidding that you know I'm not kosher myself. I don't care what you know. It was just he's like, oh, okay, cool. I wouldn't um, be able to talk to you then if uh, if you were. Why? Well, you know, I mean, if. Is I, it tangential or is it me? It has nothing to do with anything. I just said shalom at the beginning. It's not the topic of the day. It's not the topic of the day. The other day, can you see this is green? Do you see what I did? It's green because I'm going to talk to Josh about the fact that he's an eco-warrior. I, I am, I'm also wearing a green t-shirt. Cause you and I'm wearing my green combat! Whoa! Amazing! We I don't have a green sh- t- I just have Pepe Le Pew. Well, you sort of match the, uh, the futon, though. Yeah. So it's all a theme. It's pretty. Yeah. So, Josh. Yes. Why do you love the Earth so? Why do I love the Earth? Um, it's not so. I think it's a selfish reason. Uh, it's not so much. Is it to get girls? No, 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 no. It's because it, it quite. It doesn't seem to help at all. No, strangely. Maybe I'm doing the girl thing wrong. Um, you know, by picking up garbage. You know, when I'm with a girl, they don't go, "Ooh, that's hot." They go, "That's disgusting." You're gonna. Yeah, I've been with Josh. Not in that way. Finish I've the been, sentence. Right. Yeah. I've, <laughs> I've been with Josh when he's had like it just randomly picking up things and uh, he, he will go to a bin and take out the stuff that's been put in incorrectly and put it into the correct bin and he'll pick up like he'll take now tell me this do you take beer cans and then take them into the beer store and get money for them <laughs> you do don't you <laughs> that's crazy talk you fucking do, don't I you? do I actually when I was walking to your house I saw a beer can did you take uh, it and put it in your bag I saw a beer can he has like know. special compartments in well, his rucksack I didn't know what to do because there was also a case of corona and I'm like uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to get on the way back but but then I'm like, is that well? I know it's disgusting. You, That's not the issue. It's just whether, no. But yeah. you're not a tramp that needs the money. No, I actually. Uh, it, it, well, <laughs> you have a job. Yes, but if you if you take it and recycle it, it makes sure it goes back into the system. It's but, better but for the. Uh, are you saying the beer store doesn't put it into the system? No, I'm saying no. If I do take it to the to the beer store, that they will recycle. But if it just gets left on the street, maybe somebody throws it out or somebody. No, uh, because some, some sad hobo will come and pick it up. You've denied that hobo like a couple of cents. I did actually. How do you feel? I, well, I got in a fight with a hobo. Uh, Shut up! Actually, in the garbage room in my condo. Um, because they, they so I don't know how I don't know how they get in, but they come in and they sort of go through the thing. And I was going through the thing, and he's like, "Hey, what are you doing? Those are mine." I'm like. You thieved from a hobo. And I thought, you well... Com- you, like, I'm like, no. out of a hobo's mouth. He had a whole say shopping cart. Let, let's well. face it, he's going to buy booze with it, right? Yeah, exactly. And I'm going to use it for... I probably might uh, donate it to an eco charity. Bollocks. No, I won't, but... You'll spend it on pizza. Yeah, I do. Delicious pizza. <laughs> but uh, the pizza I ate on the way here, we, we noted, uh, my friend and I, that the... Uh, the it said, we have saved like 12 billion trees by using recycled packaging. That's cool. Yeah, so that's a pizza pizza. So. We like pizza pizza because they use recycled packaging. Mm-hmm. But you live in a condo, don't you? I do. And they don't have composting or no. composting, uh, as we say in North America. No, no green bin. Uh, so that's so sad. I know, whenever anybody comes to visit, they're like, oh, what are you doing with this food? I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. You did a little shoggy thing there. Like, eh. You know, I could... Well, I mean... I could save it all. And my friend uh, Emma told me that uh, she's living in a place where they your place will stink if you save all. No, they they food. put it in the freezer. They would their fridge and their freezer was stuffed full of like sort of garbage, and then they would t- walk it to like a green bin in a that's, restaurant. That's retarded. I don't uh, I don't eat that much food that maybe it would be worthwhile. But I did take my plants to a green bin when I threw them out. That's um, good. When there was little bugs in them and stuff. Yeah, Ew. I was gonna. I wanted to replant them, and then I said, "Screw it." There's a green bin outside a restaurant, so I did that. Okay. Um, 
So why is it selfish for you? Why do you think that it's selfish? Oh, right. Because it's not the Earth I care about. It's just, um, in terms of uh, fighting pollution, if I make the Earth less polluted, then I will be less toxic and less likely to get sick and I'll live longer and healthier. So, you know, when, when people... What? <laughs> no, it's this, that's the most fucked up reason. I recycle so that I will be healthier. Well, that's healthier. really the only reason okay, when you think about it. just saying. No, but I mean, when it all comes down to it, like... And that's part of the problem uh, about the environmental movement. It, it's also part of the, the problem with the, the English language. Like, when you say, oh, I'm helping the environment, it makes it sound like the environment is, like, a separate thing from us, but it doesn't mean that... I mean, I wrote a letter to the editor about this a while ago. When Which the, editor? Uh, Metro Magazine. Yeah, because the, the chairman of the uh, the TTC at the time... No, the chairman of the taxi... Something. It was that guy. A chairman. Yeah, it was the... He was saying, like, oh, you know, we're not going to make all the cabs go hybrid just to help the environment. We've got to care about jobs and stuff. But I said, well, if you... Wanka. If you replace that word environment with the word uh, the health of you and your loved ones, which is really what it's about. It's not about helping the environment. When you... You know, replace the cabs with hybrids, that's less poison in the air, your children are healthier, they're less sick, you're less sick. So if you look at it that way, then he would sound ridiculous. Say, oh, you know, we're not going to, you know, compromise the, the cabbie's fares or whatever, or make them pay extra to make you healthier. That would sound wrong, but we, when you say, oh, uh, to help the environment, it sounds like, yeah, you're right, why should we be helping the environment? Like, it's not about the environment. Right. Do you feel the passion coming through Josh Rackless right now? The I'm earth, it. The earth will be around after we're gone, and this is just about helping us. I don't really love trees per se. I mean, they're nice, but it's not like I care about the trees uh, to the exclusion of myself. It's because the you trees clean my air. Legs, I only legs. care about myself. Now I'm getting down to it. Yeah. The nitty gritty. But, you know, and, and the people I care about, I also care about. Like. Uh, and you'd like a girlfriend. I would love a girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, Tell us about your video. I really liked that when I saw that on YouTube. The music video. Oh, my God. Amazing. I mean, he, wear, he goes in drag and everything. That mm -hmm. was my favourite part. That, about seeing Josh in a wig that, with lipstick and high heels. That was accidental. Oh. Accident. Well, Shut no, up. It wasn't accidental. I didn't I accidentally put a wig and some Oops. lipstick on. Bollocks. That's what I told my mom when she walked in on me. <laughs> what? That's my friend now, Boston that's laughing. Now, too far. Going too far no, now. Rain it in. Right, no, that didn't actually happen. But uh, when I recorded the song, um, the hip-hop artist that wrote the tracks, I thought, oh, we'll get him to sort of sing back up with me. That'll sound cool. So I was just filling in the space there, and I was trying to sound okay. black. I was like... Well, my battery's run out the camera, so we're just going to do the last bit again, which is a bit weird. It's hard to recreate the magic. It really was the best part of the show, that two minutes. Te no, it wasn't. I thought it was. Shut up. Okay. That's right. Tell us where we can see the video, because the video is amazing. Uh, www.youtube.com slash Josh Rackless, J-O-S-H-R-A-C-H-L-A-S. And then it's on the front page there. You can click on An Inconvenient Proposal, A Love Song for Laurie David is the full. You uh, love her. I do. I do love her. Uh, very much. Really loves um, her. Because, well, I mean, partly because I think she's a beautiful woman, and I would like to. Uh, <laughs> would like she's a beautiful lady. <laughs> so you know, she's a beautiful woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's got the blah, blah, blah. Oh. <laughs> No. Uh, so. But also, she cares about the environment. She. Uh, no, you're just she, a horny little bastard. <laughs> those are both true true things. Uh, but I prefer to emphasize the uh, the environment part. Such bullshit. You know? But yeah, she, she just is. wants to get laid. I, I, you know, I will do whatever it takes. I mean, I have no, <laughs> you know, beggars cannot be choosers. You're not wrong. No, I mean, there might be easier ways to get laid, as you put it. What is with the air quotes? There's a lot of air quotes <laughs> it's, today. It's just so laid, so low class. As you humans call it, I don't, laid. I don't lay, I, I make love. Ah! I don't do that either. Let Let I, I like listening to your parents. Theoretically. I, oh! I haven't done it. I have you've not never done, done it? No, I have not done it. You have to have a willing partner. You, you're not virgin, Josh. I mean, what, what is a virgin? Okay, I'm going to cut this off right here. Because originally the topic was green right. issues. No, that's the thing. No, we Josh's were talking about virginity. Should, the, the part that got cut off before was about... Uh, you, you talked about... I don't want to hear it because you now talked about your virginity and I think that's where we need to end it because it's a classy note to end this on. This was an environmental show. No, it was all about Josh. As usual, and whether he gets laid or not. <laughs> Somehow it always does come back to that. Strangely. <laughs> Well, thank you for watching Talking Bollocks. I've been Marilla Wex. I've been Josh Ragless. <laughs> See you next time! Bye. Shalom. Oh, again with the Jewy. A little reincorporation. No need. Letterman does that. He'll say, like, tell a joke, and then in the, later in the show, he'll, he'll do it's it again. It's called a callback. A callback, that's what I meant. Good night! Shalom. <laughs> <laughs>